Babe, do we have any cereal? What about this? Nope. What about this? Nope. This. Ooh. All right, Joker O's. Let's open these up. Hey, what's up, guys? Sam, I'm back with another figure review, and today we're going to be looking at the San Diego Comic Con 2016 Mattel DC Multiverse Suicide Squad, the Joker and Panda Panda box set. So this is the box that it actually comes in. So it says Suicide Squad here, the Joker and Panda Man. Come to the side, just DC Multiverse, Joker and Panda Man, Suicide Squad. Nothing really in the back. Got the credits right over here. This is made by Mattel. Same thing on this side. Same description right here on the top, DC Multiverse. So that's it for this box. Now, when you open this box, you get a, uh, another box inside. And this is the best part. You get a Joker O's, the Joker O's cereal box. So it's... There's so much on here. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time in the box. Per bowl serving, it tells you right here, one, uh, per one bowl serving, it tells you zip, nada, nope, none. So that is very, very funny. Um, you got Suicide Squad, Choking Hazards here, and then you have this really, really cool image of the Joker and um, Panda, Panda Man right there. And it says you get a Batman mask inside. And it says, Bell, Reeve, Rev, Prison, Maze on back. An explosive bite, an explosive, an explosion in every bite, I cannot read. So you got, you can see the cereal that he's eating right there. It's really, really cool. The Joker looks great. I love the artwork. You can see the tattoos. And this does look like the DC Multiverse figures, the image actually. Um, so that's packaging right there. You can see the ha 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 on the back. Right here on the side, it reads the Joker O's. Suicide Squad, love the box on this. And then the top right here, the Joker O's DC Multiverse. And um, you got the um, credits right here at the bottom. And the back, there is an actual maze. So one will lead you to Harley Quinn, one will lead you to the exit over here to the bat, and then you got the start right over here. Help the Joker, Joker escape from the infamous Bell Rev prison. Don't forget to grab a Batman mask and raid evidence locker on your way out. So you get an actual maze right here. So this is a just a very unique set that you get. If you want to keep this mint on box, you can because it does have an opening right here. And you can see on this side, you got Multiverse Suicide Squad. And you have the figures right here on the inside. And the cool thing about this is Panda Man is actually flocked. So it's got the opening here where you can actually feel it. So he is flocked. And so you get the Joker, Panda Man, and a base right there. So that's what it looks like. I forgot to show you this over here. There is nutrition, uh, nutrition facts. It says, ingredients, evil grin, laughing gas, advanced weaponry, flocked fur, panda hugs, gold teeth, may contain trace amounts of mayhem, mischief, and uh, malcontent. Side effects may include psychosis, manical laughter, hearing of internal voices, and inability to stop smiling. Contents will be unsettling. So this is very, very awesome. The uh, mask you get inside right here, this is it. So you get a Batman mask. It's just, you know, pretty much just cardboard and it's on a string right here. So this is going to be cool um, for display purposes. So you get the mask right here. So we're going to take the figures out of package. And we're going to take a closer look at them. accessories that the set does come with now before I get into all that uh, there is a special way in opening the box so just make sure if you guys want to keep the box clean that you tear the way the middle part just to be careful with it there is an insert in this the it's a really colorful one that you can put the ha 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 you know for photos or whatever so you do get an insert in that so just be careful when you're opening the boxes so you don't damage it because there is a way to open this box so get into the base the base is really nice. Now, I believe this is one of Joker's tattoos on his right arm, and it is a base of a bat, and it's got a gold knife going through it. You got a bunch of pegs on here, depending on how you want to display your figures. Now, this just is plastic, so it would be cool if it had actually some weight to it if it was like die cast metal. But still, this is actually really cool just to like have, maybe stick it on, oh, it does. It's got a little mount on there. That's what I'm definitely putting in the toy room. I'm going to put this right by the figures just like that. So this has a mount on, on the backs. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, this just uh, made me happier. Okay, so we got that. We have a machine gun right here, which I believe is for Panda because um, Joker doesn't really have the hand to hold onto a gun. 
but you get this right here. So that's really cool. You get this machine gun and Joker comes with, now this is the worst part of the set. This is done very cheaply and I don't even think this is what it looked like in the promo pictures for this set. Whoops. This is his jewelry and this is just terrible. It looks like it's like a couple of them here, but they're just glued together. And um, this is the gold chains that he's wearing in the movie, but it looks nothing like it does in the movie at all. It's just a soft rubber plastic. For a Comic-Con exclusive, you think they would have put, put in a little bit more work to it, but you can slip this on him and you can put the gold chains on right there. So that's all the accessories that you get right here. First figure we're gonna take a look at is the one that I think is the best one from the set and that is Panda Man. This guy is awesome and he is flocked, man. When This is so cool. Like just the material, that it has a certain material made. If you guys know what flocked is, then you're gonna know what you're getting because this guy is amazing. The beautiful figure. I hope we get more of the Joker's henchmen because I think there's a guy with a Batman mask. There's the eyeball man. I think uh, another guy called the Grin or something like that. But the, the bear, the head sculpt right here, the panda bear looks great. Very, very nice. Got a little bit of shading on top. The ears are even flocked. So, so cool. I love how this guy looks. So you got the head right there. He's got the little straps right here on the shoulders that go all the way around over here. So that's pretty cool. He's got the, um, um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, heart right there in the center, which reads friends forever. And you can see that I believe this is, might be the zip for the suit. I don't know. And then you can see this one here is not flocked. It's just plastic here. And you can see a little bit of the fingers and the hands right there. So he does look like he does hold on to the gun. And then right here, he's got the big old bear, panda bear shoes on and he does have peg holes at the bottom again this guy is fully flocked really really cool in the way of his articulation the head's on a ball joint so it can rotate you can tilt it it goes up and down arms go in and out forward and back he's got a slight bit that's as far as you're going to get the hand to bend which isn't a big deal well it kind of is a big deal because you can't get him to hold the machine gun with both hands um the hand can rotate you can see that there he has waist rotation, which is cool. I didn't think he was gonna have any. No ab crunch though. The legs go forward and back. Slight, sorry about that guys, my battery died there real quick. So he's bent at the knee. Uh, the foot can rotate and slightly go up and down. So he's got some good range of motion. And you can see right here, he holds onto the gun fairly well. I just wish that we can get the arm to rotate so he can hold him with both arms, but it won't reach that far, but still a really cool looking figure. Next up is the Joker, and we all know, you know, the this multiverse does not do a good job in the movie figures. We have this Joker right here to do a comparison, and it looks like it, the head sculpt, he still looks like Frankenstein, but um, he's actually smiling. So on this one, we can actually see some of the gold grill in his mouth, or I'm not gold, the silver grill. Still got the damage tattoo, the J over here, and the star on over here. The hair looks cool though. I do like the green, like the different color, you know, shades of green. Hair is slipped back. Uh, I'm trying to see if the hair, mm, I like the color on this one a lot better. But you got the tattoos, if you move the chain over here. You can open up the shirt, it's a soft rubber material, and you can see some of the tattoos here. So those look great. I, I do like how the tattoos look on him. The skin color looks great too, no problem with that. But a lot of cool detailing on the tattoos. You can kind of see the card ones right there on the shoulder. And this is technically, I, think, I believe this is what they call the boxer joker. So he's got the uh, like the boxer shorts right here. You can see the stars and stuff, the different colors. So very, very nice. And you got the leggings. So that's really funny that he's wearing Batman leggings in the movie. So you can see these black leggings and the silver Batmans all over. You see the backside right here of the shorts. And then you have his uh, boots. And you can see he has a smiley face on the boots right there. So the figure itself looks good. It's just the head sculpt that I don't like. Um, he's got the tattoo right here on the hand for the laughing, uh, laughing, you know, mouth and the same thing on this one here. And he's wearing his purple jacket that we're going to see him wear in the movie, which doesn't look too bad. It's a soft rubber material in certain parts. The arms is, uh, it's sculpted on, but you can see a little bit of detailing on there. So pretty good, pretty good overall. If the head sculpt was a little bit better and looked more like Jared Leto, then, uh, this figure would be legit. It would be a really, really good looking figure. Now the way of his articulation, the head can rotate, uh, goes up and down. He's got an ab crunch. You can see that right there. Doesn't really do much though. He's got waist rotation, arms go in and out. He's got an upper arm rotation, bend at the elbow. Doesn't go that far either. The hand can rotate, uh, sorry, so the waist rotation, legs go in and out, forward and back, bend at the knee, 
it doesn't look like any upper leg rotation. Uh, the foot doesn't rotate, but the foot goes up and down. I'm sorry, the uh, lower leg doesn't rotate. So that's it for the Joker. Let's, let's do some comparisons really quick. So this is him and the other Joker that we got from the same DC Multiverse line. Personally, the one in the far left that we got in this exclusive is so much better than the one on the right. It's still not a great figure, but it's an improvement. But um, again, the head sculpt's not that great. Here he is standing next to Harley Quinn from the DC Multiverse line. You can see the little size comparison there. To the Mezco armored San Diego Comic-Con Batman vs. Superman armored Batman. So you can see Batman is a little bit taller than him. And I guess they are in scale with each other. And lastly, I wanted to show you guys this. It's a shame that Funko, the small little figure, has so much more detail than the adult collector DC Multiverse figure. I mean, Funko did the shoelaces. They even did them gold. Multiverse didn't. Um, they added all the cool little detailing and textures to the jacket. Multiverse didn't. They sculpted on the gold chains, which makes it look different because you can see the separate, you know, chains. They did a terrible job of doing it. But there's a little comparison right there, guys. I don't mean to rag on this. Guys, there's my review. Today we're taking a look at the Mattel DC Multiverse San Diego Comic Con 2016 exclusive, the Joker O's uh, two pack set which is Panda, Panda Man, is that what they're calling him? There goes the Batman mask. Panda Man and uh, the Joker, Boxer Joker. So you get a really cool display base. I love the base because you can hang it on the wall. You get the Joker mask, the really cool, or Batman mask, you get the really cool Joker cereal box, and you get the awesome Panda Man. And this guy looks sick. This is a sick figure right here. And you get the Joker, which is an improvement from the other ones, just a head sculpt. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Are you guys gonna pick it up? Drop a comment down below. Hit that like button, subscribe guys. Follow me on Instagram. We'll see you guys later. Peace.